Hey guys, it's the Cardiffs, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the bankroll playing cards. And this is what you guys asked for, the red edition, uh, and it is the bankroll playing cards. These were produced and brung out by Murphy's Magic. The printers of this deck was the USPCC. Thanks so much, Murphy's Magic. Make sure you check them out. Link in the description below uh, for them. But if you want to win one of these decks, stay tuned to the end of the video, and you may be a lucky winner to uh, grab yourself one of this one of these decks. So, how about we get straight into this, uh, and uh, let's go. Okay, so from the back, this deck was actually produced and uh, came up with the idea by Jason Brambolo. And he was obviously, he is the kind of director of uh, Murphy's Magic. And also, this card deck comes with two card Monty uh, inside, so it's really, really great. Also, printed by the USVCC, and see this box that comes goes round the deck? It's the last time they're ever going to do that. They're never going to bring that box back again for the decks. So, let's get straight into this. So, it comes with this nice kind of solid case, and it has Run there. And as you can see on the side there, it does say Ally the Score. Uh, there's only thing one thing you can do, and it says Run. So after the score, uh, there's only one thing you can do, and that's run, okay? So as you can see, it says it just there, and it's like in gold foil, just there as well, and that is it for the box. You pop it open, as you can see, it slides, and you get this really, really beautiful case. So first off, as you can see, it has a red foil on the tuck case as well, and it goes the whole way around the deck. We'll just close this up so you can get a better idea on the tuck case itself. It has a nice ace of spades in the gold foil with kind of this pattern in the background of the deck, as you can see there. And it has this really, really nice ace of spades, very detailed and very artwork with all the abstract lines. On the side, very, very small, I've got to admit, so if you can't read that, then I do apologise, but I'll zoom it in for you. As you can see, it says, distributed by Murphy's Magic Playing Card Company. And then it obviously has the Murphy's Magic logo there and there in gold, in this red foil going there. On the other side, you can see it says, after the score, there's only one thing you can do, and, you know, run. So as you can see, it has the red foil there. And first off, you may be able to tell it's an actually side-opening flap. So what, that's what I really like, and you can actually see a lot more of the detail, as you can see, when it's closer up. You get that little pattern in the background. Now, we're going to move on to the top. As you can see on the top, it has run, with this diamond pattern just there. Okay, and it has a uh, run bankroll, so it tells you which one it is, and the diamonds are there as well. So after you've gone to the front, you probably want to look at the back of the deck. As you can see, it has a nice, same idea, but it shows basically the back design in a different kind of colour. It has the basic pattern that you saw on the back, and it has like this kind of dollar sign, and it has this nice circle going around with the, club, the spade pit there and there, with this nice pattern and design they're doing to it. Really, really cool. It looks very different, and that's what I like. I think different is better, and the red foil just pops. So really, really nice. Well done, Jason, for that, and Murphy's Magic. But enough about the tuck case. When we get inside, let's see what happens. You first off on the tab as well, it has run. Okay, so it first off just carries on inside, and it's also printed inside. You can see it has there. Learn a gambling routine with included gaff cards at murphysmagic. And as you can see, it gives you run, okay? And then you can pull these cards out, and as you can see, it's a side tuck case, and it's all printed inside, and that's what I'm really happy with. I really love it when decks are printed inside. But let's actually have a look at the deck itself. So, first off, as I was going to quickly say, I do apologise. I did actually say that this was gold foil it's not, it's red foil, so just letting you know beforehand. So, let's have a look first off. You get this really, really nice back design. It really, really pops with the red. It is a mirrored back, so what a mirrored back means is if I turn it round, it's not going to affect it, and it means it's good for magic as well. It has a nice white border, but as you can see, it pops out there as well, and it's a bit higher. So what that does is it gives this really, really nice looking fan, and it looks a bit, a bit unique. It has the pattern in the background, and it's kind of like this... Uh, it's kind of hard to describe. It's just really, really nice pattern they've done there. Haven't seen a problem with it, and it has the dollar sign with the red, the black, uh, like the dark kind of colours they've gone with it, the shading. Such a nice back design. And it's kind of got this silver colour to it as well, so it's really, really nice with the back design. Then you get to the front, and then you get this Joker's, and these just pop. First off, just look at these. First, you get 
you get a reveal of them as well. As you can see, you get a six of spades reveal just there. There's a diamond and club just there that Murphy's Magic playing cards it says with Joker Joker with the custom pips. This whole deck is fully custom with the sword going through the heart, but you get a reveal from the get go. Then you receive the two card Monty, and this is how it works. You know, you say, okay, so uh, keep an eye on the three of clubs. As I was saying, keep an eye on the three of clubs. Where's the three of clubs? They'll say here. You take it, you say no, they'll go okay here, you, you'll go no, and they'll go okay, it must be here, and yes it is. Obviously you guys know how that works, so you also receive two get gaff cards. Then you receive, oops, put the ace back, then you receive the Ace of Spades, and you can see straight away they've put a lot of work into this deck. Now, a lot of them, as you can see, have this little pattern that goes down for each of the cards, the stripes below. <coughs> as you see, it's quite common with some of the decks nowadays, but they've done it in a different way. Looks like the volume bars. The Ace of Spades, as you can see, it has this kind of glow around it with a stripe going through, and then you get the big Ace of Spades with the big spade pit with the saw going through, going back to the Jokers there with the patterns inside, the continuous pattern that you see, the same pattern, it's not like a different one, has the same kind of symbols that they had on the Jokers, and you can see it has this really, really nice kind of bluey grey colour to it, and it says after the score, there's only one thing to do, and obviously, run. Then you can see what they've done here with the pips is they've done like a line for it, so it looks very different and more kind of simple. And what I like is this deck looks simple and easy to read, so as a kind of performer, you could be able to perform with this deck. Continues with the uh, custom pit placements, as you can see, the custom pit placements, like so. And then you get the royalty, and this is what kind of threw me off because they look so nice with the yellow and the kind of green and the greys, and they look so simple but like kind of familiar. They look like bicycle, but they're not, and they've been customised. And as you can see, that you can see where the glow is in the royalty there. Just such a really, really nice royalty there. I no wonder why you guys kept saying get this deck. Then you get the Ace of Diamonds as well. As you can see, the reds have more of like an a orangey red to them. Uh, as you can see, and it's like really small pips of this. It's not like big large ones, it's really, really small. And it continues with the lines going through, just like so, with the custom pit placements. Plip, pit placements, sorry. And then you get to the Jack Queen King, you can see that they've changed a little bit uh, with the royalty. As you can see, the Jack looks very, very good with the artwork there. It's just a very abstract deck. I'm really, really pleased with this deck so far. Same with the clubs as well, just like the spades uh, with the royalty. Same with the clubs, just in the clubs with the nice clubs placement there. And the same with the ace of clubs. They could have done four custom aces, I would have preferred that. But obviously I haven't had any problems with this deck yet. But really, really nice for the deck. I've had no complaints on the deck. But is the deck all of that when it comes to the handling? Let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look at the handling for the deck. So first off... It is a really, really nice stock, and it's not too thin, not too thick, it's just the perfect amount, I think. Now, when it comes to the spreading of the deck, because it has a thin border, and it has these really, really dark colours, it gives you a really, really nice spread, and a really, really nice colour to it. These springs on the deck, it does go from one hand to the other quite easily, as most decks would be if they're printed by USPCC. The dribbling is quite tough at first, but it can dribble, as you can see, really nicely. A fan with a deck. Now, a fan with a deck looks quite nice with the thin borders. Because it's got like a bit raised, it has this nice jagged effect, as you can see there. And it looks very different and unique. And on the, obviously on a first time fan, when you get out of the box, it looks amazing. Such a nice deck for that. A ripple shuffle with this deck. As always, is able to do Riffle Shuffle. Murphy's Magic won't let you down. They've got to make this deck be able to last. Cuts as well, this deck has no problem. Now, you can do double lifts of this deck, and you can do colour changes. You know, you can also do card productions, and you can also do Charlier cuts if needed, and cuts in the hands. Now, for flourishing, this deck is very, very kind of... It looks very, um, more very, I don't know how to say it, high end. So for flourishing, this deck looks very, very nice. You could take this to a wedding, you could take this anywhere, uh, apart from me throwing them. Look, see that? That was a proper good move right there. But just, this deck is such a nice deck. Honestly, 
best deck I have so far, just because it's so unique and the colours on the Jokers I love. It's just an all round nice deck. I haven't had any problems with it yet, but I'd let you know if I do. But now you probably want to know how you can win one of these decks. So if you would like to win one of these decks, you can. And there is a few rules, um, but this is, uh, you know, you can grab one. So. The contest is, you're going to, and by the way, the contest for Christmas ends on the 30th, so you have to keep that in mind, but you're going to win one deck of this one, obviously in the other ones you're going to win one of them each video, so you think in one, when Murphy Magic gives me a deck, hopefully, if it goes well this contest, they're going to supply more guys for you guys to win. So you've got to, and it will be, you've got to like the video subscribe to me obviously and subscribe to Murphy's Magic you've got to go you've got to comment on their episode 7 that I'll leave in the description below saying sent from the Cardist okay uh, and then the results will be announced on their ninth episode so in a week um, so not this Sunday next Sunday and uh, yeah and they'll and they'll contact you and they'll do the rest from there and they'll explain it in the video how to win or sorry how to how to collect your prize so thanks so much for watching this video guys I really really appreciate it if you guys enjoyed this video why not give it a big old like hope you guys enjoying the channel I can see you guys uh, this channel is growing progressively quite quickly really pleased but thanks so much like the video click subscribe just up there check out previous video just up there that's it have a good day I'll see you guys in the next one Goodbye.